This is Brian, and welcome back to this commentary playthrough of Chrono Trigger for the SNES. Last time we kept making our way through the Black Omen here. Fought quite a few bosses and some other stuff. Got a lot of treasure, a lot of mega elixirs and tabs, which are always nice. Okay, what's going on here? They have clones of our party members? I don't know if they ever really explained this part of the game. Like, why our characters are all here. That Magus is screw that guy, right? <laughs> Okay, um, I think this is... Okay, that's the Mammon Machine, I think. There's the Queen. Behold, my pretties. Destiny in its most brutal form. All the dreams that might have been. All the happiness and sorrow you might have experienced. Gone forever. For you, there will be no tomorrow. The Dark Omen transcends time and space waiting for Lavos to awaken. Destiny has led you here, and here you shall rest forever, unless you can defeat me and smash the omen. Sounds like a challenge. Come, dear friends. Perhaps I can persuade Lavos to share his dreams with you. Did I say dreams? I meant his eternal nightmare. He's saying that Lavos has a nightmare, or that he is a nightmare? I don't know. Oh, yeah. He pulls this crap. Did decent damage to her with Luminaire, and can we steal from her? I got a Mega Elixir. Not bad. And, yeah, this is a nice place to have some of those... Lapises. Now that we've stolen, Ayla's probably gonna be the probably gonna be the one that does the least damage here, so I'll have her use at least one more lapis to get the party back up to around half health. Because then we should be able to survive any attacks she has, I think. Okay, there she's doing that again. Otherwise, there's... Doesn't seem like there's anything too spectacular about this fight. It's just that can trip you up if you aren't able to heal yourself quickly enough. But we got her, it looks like. I don't really like the fact that we're all still at 1 HP because I'm not sure if it goes straight into another fight or not. My powers don't seem to work here. Wait, I'll simply toss you into the Mammon Machine. You'll be one with the Omen, Lavos, and me. All right, straight into a fight with the Mammon Machine. There's a good opportunity to use a Mega Elixir. And we got it off. And what's the Mammon Machine have for us? Another Mega Elixir, so... Got back the one I just used anyway.
Yeah, um, also, if you didn't notice, it is saying that magic becomes attack power, so when we're when we're hitting him with magic, it's actually cre increasing his attack power, so hope that doesn't come back to bite us in the ass. Okay, and his defense increases when you use regular attack on him, apparently. Or physical attack, I guess. I'd say. Okay, and then he releases the energy that he's stored up from our attacks. Yeah, that's not too bad. Stand still. I would imagine that means he's probably building up to a big attack or something. But let's just keep picking the crap out of him and see how quickly we can get him down. Because our attacks are doing quite a bit of damage, so I wouldn't assume he's going to last too long. I don't want to keep using Ayla's MP if I don't have to, so just have her use a regular attack. Keep pounding away with Luca and Chrono. Alright, sounds like we got him. That's not the end, right? Not sure. I think we're supposed to be like at the top of the omen now, basically. There's the queen again. You Cretans! I plan to live with Lavos and control the universe forever. It will not get in my way. Indulge in such regrets in the next life. Alright, we got a second form for the queen here. I think this is one of those where we can actually take the hands out first, and I think that'll help us out. At least that's what I'm going to try. Oh. Okay, well, what's Flare going to do, maybe? Alright. Hands are doing a lot of counterattacks here. That's not necessarily good. So I'm gonna have to do something about the hands first before I keep attacking. Alright, Luke is probably done. Alright. There we go, we're back up again. I think what I'll do here is just use single attacks on the hands first. Do what that's gonna do. Still counter attacks. Let's try to get a steal in. You gonna counter that? What if I just attack the head then? Get the arms out of it. Okay. I guess maybe that's the way to go, it kind of looks like.
I do want to get a steal off here, though, because I think she has a pretty good one. Hmm. Maybe it likes her. Well, maybe I'll try to steal from the hands. There it is. Yeah, I thought you could get a pr prism dress from her, so... Because remember, we didn't have Melchior make one of those for us. I don't know if the other hand has something, too. I suppose it does. I doubt if it's going to be that good. And I don't think we can get two prism dresses here. Okay, a helm. So, got a full set there. Which, obviously... We're close to the end of the game. I don't know if we're going to have an opportunity to really utilize it. It's nice to have, anyway. Nice hit there. And for a single... Actually... I think Fire Sword. Yeah, that's a single hit attack. Let's see how well that does against him here. Or her. Yeah, that was pretty decent. And yeah, I'm using a lot of elixirs now, because, I mean, we're at the end of the game, pretty much here, so there's no reason to really hold on to them. Let's see what Confuse does. I like to use those MP busters and stuff like that. Kind of annoying, keep stealing all our magic. Yeah, and I mean, this is certainly going to be one of the tougher enemies, one of the tougher boss battles in the game, but as long as you understand what she does, it's still not undoable. Here we got her. Is that it? What's left? How dare you insects come after me? Oh, almighty Lavos, lend me your power. So, like Omen tapping into her calling to Labos, I suppose, because he is under the ocean there. Wahaha! At last, Labos awakens. Compared with him, you are like germs. But I, I shall obtain immortality. So, kind of fades away there. I don't know if she's gone, or is she game one with Lavos? There, it kind of looks like the Black Omen is disintegrating. But this kind of looks familiar, doesn't it? Well, and of course, here's this part, too. 
like the day of Lavos, where he breaks out from under the ground. So basically, I guess what happens when we, um, when we beat her in the Black Omen, it caused Lavos to, um, be summoned prematurely. You're 1000 instead of 1999. Hopefully, if we beat him, we'll cause him or we'll prevent his destruction. Lavos enters attack mode. Alright, and we did, I did kind of show this off when we first got to the end of time and I used the bucket to go fight him. So, yeah. You are going to fight through the different forms now and the first few aren't going to be... Actually, instead of using that, don't I just go ahead and... Uh, yeah, we have 15 of them. I'll just use another Mega Elixir. Yeah, we can't save it here, so you're just going straight into the fight with Lavos right after you get done with the Queen. Yeah, I guess there's probably no point in wasting my magic with Luminaire and Flare at this point, because these first few are going to be really easy. But that should finish this guy off, I think. Because that's the Dragon Tank. Oh, it didn't. Ranges attack mode. Here we got the guardian robot from the future. And I mean, yeah, they are nice about it. They let you have the opportunity to step back and heal between these forms if you want to or need to. It's going to be a while before any of these guys give me trouble, if at all. Ekron, now, and he's the one that you had to use magic to, to hurt him, so... We'll go ahead and use a Luminaire for this one. Hopefully that's enough to just finish him off. Yep. Oh, no. It's not. Well, let's flare him, then. Take that. That did it. And that's as far as we made it last time when we tried to face him. Now we got Zombor. And there's the guy out in front because, yeah, there were two parts to Zombor. Top and bottom. So that's what they represent now. I think one of the parts healed from lightning, so this will probably only hurt one of them. Yeah, that's enough to finish off that part. Wow, that hurt. Yeah, yeah forget about that part, that kind of sucks. Who's next? Ah, it's Azamoon. I got enough full ethers. There we go. That's pretty pretty close to full again. I think just regular attacks will be fine here. We don't need to do anything special. Another one down. Isbel. He used the lightning to lower his defense. So, I would imagine that'll be the same here. And I think Luminaire, I mean, his chrono is lightning, and I think Luminaire counts as lightning. So that should work.
Now we got Magus. Um, yeah, I think he probably still does the thing where you'll have to use a specific type of element against him. In the first phase? I, I guess I'm not 100% sure if he goes in those phases like he did before. Yeah, barrier change. Alright, well now it's on lightning at least, so let's use Luminaire again. Right now, all I have is fire and lightning, so if he switches to water, I couldn't do anything about it. Okay, I think he's on the second phase already. Hopefully this should be enough. Yeah, we're finally getting to the point though where the bosses are a little more tanky here. And the Black Tyranno. And yes, it does have the little Azala perched on the shoulder there too. We have a lot better techs now, though, than we did last time we faced them. Oh, yeah. That did a lot to Azala. Got the breakdown already. Well, that's yeah, not technically Azala, but... Now it should go into the phase where it does the countdown, hopefully. Otherwise, the defense stays too high. Even at this point, we're not doing much damage. All right, yep, removes defense. I guess one thing I haven't checked, I haven't been trying to steal. <laughs> I don't remember if you can really get anything from these guys or not. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. After the Tyranno here, I don't think we have too many forms left. Maybe two or three? This might actually be the last one. This was the Giga Gaia guy. Yeah, I don't think we need more MP than what I got, so we should be fine. The hands had about 1500 HP, if I remember correctly. So if that does more than that, we should be fine. Well, I mean, we'll be okay otherwise anyway, I think. But yeah, there we go. Probably just, yeah, throw powerful attacks at him and try and finish him out before he revives the hands.
Okay, let's just attack. Gotta be getting pretty close. Okay, yeah, I think that was the last form for the for this form of Lavos. Now we actually it's just Lavos, I think. Yeah, it's not a He's not mimicking any bosses from before now. What does that do? Yeah, it's a decent amount of damage to us. Yeah, no steals. Well, I mean, he might have something, but I'm not going to keep trying. Yeah, and this isn't like the lava spawn. We don't need to worry about hitting the shell because that doesn't that's not an option. It's just the one target here. Give Luca a little bit of HP here. I'll probably just keep having Ayla heal. At least as long as we can use a little bit. His head's almost down. Ayla number one. I think that's what that means. I wish it were over. Ayla no give up. Yeah. We're not actually done, though. What you do is you actually just go inside Lavos here. We're okay, right? Lavo smells stronger. Or what Lavo smells like. Wouldn't imagine anything too good. Um, but yeah, you see, there is a gate here. You can actually. I don't remember 100% where this takes you, but you can actually leave here if you want to. So, even after all that and smashing the Black Omen, we can still retreat for now. But we got our save point here. Let's use a shelter there. Let's see, how are we doing on items? I don't think I have any tabs, so yeah. So got 14 Mega Elixirs, 30 regular ones. Plenty of other things. The lapises. So I have 38 of those, so well supplied here, even though I mean I didn't really go out of my way to buy too much stuff, but yeah, you just acquire quite a few things as you go through the game, either from treasures or from drops from enemies. Let's drop a save there. And yeah, the chapter finally changes now. Um, it's the final battle. Had been the faded hour for quite a while here because we've been doing all those side quests. But we're finally ready to get through here. So we'll see if we're just going to go up and fight Lavos or if there's more of a... If there's more kind of dungeon or enemies inside of his shell here to face. But we're going to go ahead and stop there for today, so... We'll go ahead and finish it up next time, and we'll finish through our first winning ending of the game, hopefully. After that, it'll probably take, I would assume, better part or most of... 
most of the next episode, and then we'll go to New Game Plus. So I'm not going to like do a recap or a review of the game until after I do the final episode. I'll share my thoughts after we do all of the extra endings, endings in New Game Plus. So for now, I'll just keep going with the series here. But yeah, the next playthrough will be a lot faster. And if there's too much stuff where I don't get to an ending or something, I might cut some stuff and just show the endings. But I'll try to leave most of it in because I think it'll be pretty quick. But remember, if you've been enjoying the content so far, please like, comment, and subscribe or follow. And we'll catch you next time.